Thank you for that introduction, Dr. Nimer. And I'm uh, my name is Jane Chirpak, and I'm one of the co-chairs along with Dr. Mario Cazzola today. We are absolutely delighted that all of you are here, uh, and we are looking forward to a really fantastic session. We're hoping that all of you will be very interactive. So during each session, you can type your questions into the chat box anytime during the session while the uh, each of the speakers are speaking. And right afterwards, we'll have live Q&A for each of these. So we're hoping to have very lively interactions and uh, we're looking forward to these sessions. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Katsola, who will give us the uh, logistics for today's uh, session. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm sharing uh, this symposium with Jane. And uh, I have uh, no relevant uh, financial uh, relationships to disclose. I just want to share with you the heavy snowfall I am seeing outside my window. So um, there have been a lot of uh, advances in uh, the molecular pathophysiology of MDS in recent years. And uh, they can be summarized as follows. With respect to MDS on deletion 5Q, apple insufficiency production of multiple gene transcripts has been the major pathogenetic mechanism. And uh, apple insufficiency production of uh, casein kinase 1A1 explains both the pathogenesis and uh, the response of FIQ minus uh, to lenalidomide. About uh, half of patients uh, have uh, somatic mutations in uh, spliceosome genes and uh, aberrant uh, RNA splicing and production of abnormal gene transcripts is uh, the major mechanism of disease. But there are substantial differences uh, among different uh, spliceosome genes. For instance, SFRB1 mutant NDS is a relatively benign disease, while SRSF2 mutant NDS is a very aggressive disease. Among uh, the therapeutic advances, <clears throat> a major role plays uh, the introduction of uh, Luspatercept, a compound that can target ineffective erythropoiesis. A recent study published in the New England Journal of Medicine has shown that uh, Luspatercept is particularly effective in MDS with the sideroblast and uh, is able to abolish transfusion requirement in about 40% of these patients. The first speaker in um, this symposium will be Rafael Behar, will discuss challenges in MDS diagnosis. Facing a patient with unexplained cytopenia, the conventional approach is uh, morphological assessments of bone marrow and peripheral blood plus cytogenetics. Raf will discuss how molecular profiling based on a gene panel assay for somatic mutations and the Gipanil assay for germline mutations in selected patients can further inform clinical decision making. Amy Desern will discuss managing NDS in the wake of a global pandemic. She will particularly uh, discuss uh, those factors which uh, may impact decision making, in particular, age of the patient goals of care, intent of cure, allogeneic stem cell transplant candidate versus not, and the availability of local blood bank, as well as drug access. Katarina Goetze will discuss the use of Venetoclax in higher risk MDS AML. A recent study in the New England Journal of Medicine by Kurt Dinardo has shown that the combination of azacitidine plus venetoclax is superior to 
as I cited in alone, in uh, elderly patients with AML who are not eligible for aggressive chemotherapy. Sargil will discuss uh, the role of CAR T cells in myeloid malignancies. There is now extensive clinical experience in the treatment of lymphoid malignancies with CAR T cells, while only few patients uh, with AML have been treated uh, so far. SAR has been a pioneer in the field, and uh, his first preclinical paper on this topic uh, was published in blood in uh, 2014. Stefan de Botton will uh, discuss uh, novel targeted therapies. About uh, 10 to 20% of uh, MENDS patients uh, have a somatic mutation in IDH2, IDH1, or TP53. And uh, Specific inhibitors of these mutant genes are available, particularly enosinidinib for IDH2, ibocidinib for IDH1, and APR246 for TT3. Before each presentation, we will have a poll question, and you will be invited to vote. The same poll question will be presented after each talk, and uh, you will be invited to vote again. Finally, my co chair Jane Churpek will illustrate our conclusions, perspective, and will uh, answer the questions uh, that you may submit. Thank you very much. And uh, we go to the next poll. So the first uh, quick poll is as follows. Select one of the following patients. Which one is uh, more likely to have NDS? 60-year-old female with severe thrombocytopenia and small DNA-MT3A mutation. A 73-year man with Hemoglobin of 9.2 and an SCP1 mutation. A female 69 year old with elevated white blood cells and CHAT2 plus SRS2 mutation. Or a woman 9, 49 year old with mutation in IDH2, DNA MTT3A, or MPM1. So now the first speaker is the Raf Behar. 